What's up, nerds? Welcome back to Collector's Edition. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Jocelyn. All right, so on this episode, we're going to be covering... One Piece figures! Yes! <laughs> uh, she's been on our shelf. You probably have seen her in the yeah. background, but we decided to give her a video of her own because she deserves it. Beautiful. So... Yeah, we got Law and Shiro Hoshi. Shiro Hoshi, that's right. So these, these characters are both really great characters in One Piece. If any of you have not seen One Piece, don't watch it. Just read it. It's so long. It is past 800 chapters now in the manga, and there are like 900 episodes of anime. That's a long time. If you want to put in that effort, kudos to you. I ain't doing that, and I love One Piece. <laughs> but, a lot of filler episodes. Oh god, so many. <laughs> but these figures, mm -hmm. whew, I just, I can go on forever, so I'm just trying to find out like the words. Find the words. Find the words. Okay, so she is not on your right at all. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to collect myself <laughs> because I really love Shirahoshi. Yeah. I collect Shirahoshi. Um, like, le legitimately, I collect. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is how she's supposed to be. Um, I've got seven Shirahoshi figures so far. I just ordered another one. <laughs> Legitimately, she just Yeah, literally, them. as in the making of this video. Um, she's almost eight and a half inches tall. She went for almost $90. She had two runs in 2012, and one in 2013 is when I got her. Um, there's still plenty of her aftermarket, and she hasn't really gone up in price, so if you want to drop $100 on a good figure, because she's absolutely beautiful she really is do it this is the first big figure that i ever bought for myself when i first started collecting in 2013 and um worth it absolutely worth it everything about her is gorgeous mm -hmm. now if, if you know anything about one piece or if you don't shirahoshi is a mermaid princess from fishman island it's deep deep below in the sea she is a large mermaid princess she's 50 feet about 50 feet, maybe a little bit more. Um, for scale, she has a little Luffy in her hand. <laughs> Luffy is about five, eight and a half now. Yeah. And yeah, five feet. Eight inches and a half. Oh no, there he goes. Yeah, he is not very stable, but because he's so small, even if he falls off of your shelf, he's not gonna break, he's not yeah. gonna scuff. They really, Mega House did both of these figures, by the way. They're in a series called Excellent Model Portrait of Pirates. She's in like this little sector called Sailing Away. Mm -hmm. But Mega House always, always does great figures. It's kind of like a good smile mm -hmm. sort of like quality. Kurubukia. Yeah, Kurubukia. Like they're all really <clears throat> high grade figure making companies, and you're not going to be disappointed with these. Um, I just love her so much. Her color, I mean, she has this translucency to her on mm -hmm. her hair, on her fin, on the bottom of her hair. Yeah, yeah on her little, like, I don't even know what that is, but I love it. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, at first I thought it was attached to her hair, but it's not. No, it's, it's attached, attached to her, her, her bra. Yeah. And she sit, I love her, her base because she, it's a coral reef that she's sitting on. It's not like plain. Yeah. But this one, you know, they gave it like a, a blue, shimmery gradient they got yeah. his name and he said warlords of the sea on there um it's got pop you know portrait of pirates on there too um this legitimately looks like a rock like coral yeah they they definitely put more love for shirahoshi mm. she deserves it she deserves it yes, definitely, yeah. <laughs> i want more shirahoshi figures <laughs> yeah just i mean the paint quality she has like the shimmery yeah this to her scales yeah she has scales yeah she does they actually individually sculpted scales mm -hmm. all on her tail every single one and then this plastic piece of her hair on her hair tie it's translucent it's almost like a caramel mm -hmm. color it's sheer it's beautiful i love it <laughs> i her love face this sculpt figure. Is amazing. the paint on this on this figure is so well done mm -hmm. I like the color pink. <laughs> so this this is one of the reasons I was attracted to this character because of her color scheme. But she's also just a really good character. Please read One Piece. It's 
online for free, man. Like, <laughs> if you don't want to pay money for it, you can find it for free. I'm sorry, Otsente, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot to read. <laughs> yeah. Um, Law, however, he's like he's an enigma of a character. Mm. Like Sundere as hell. Yeah. He um he's a doctor. Um, a very rascal doctor. <laughs> like he doesn't want to help people, but he still does anyways. He gets roped along with the straw hat crew <laughs> <laughs> and forms an alliance with them and it is wonderful. Love, love their dynamic. Um he actually has interchangeable parts. Mm -hmm. So he comes with an extra hand and you can, you know, do whatever. You can put this one into this hand or this one into this hand and change them out. He's got it so he can hold it down or even like his put it up. He has, he has a normal headpiece. He's got his disguise on right now. Yeah, so this is when they first went to Dress Rosa and they're trying to hide. <laughs> so Oda Sensei always gives him the worst you know, <laughs> the worst disguises that always work, you know, it's, yeah. it's one piece, you yeah. know, it's always going to work. Oh, yeah. And he even comes with, you know, because of this head sculpt has his full hat on there. This, this one, if you take off the hood, the hat sculpt is actually like flattened up at the top so the hood will fit on there. But if you want to use this headpiece, they have got <laughs> part of the hood that's down, mm -hmm. actually sculpted so that you can take off this hood. Yeah, and it's, a, it's an awesome it little together. touch to because it looks like it lays like a hood. Yeah, and he's a, he, it does, it really does. And he's a really static figure, but they mm -hmm. gave him like options. Yeah. And he's just wonderful. I love both these figures so much. Mm -hmm. They both go for around $90, $80 to $100, so it's not bad. Mm. Definitely not for these quality of figures at all. Yeah. They're really nice. It's nice. actually relatively cheap, considering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some like, figures. Like, some figures that are this size, you're probably going to run 100 plus. Yeah. Definitely aftermarket twos. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on, like, the character or the hype or something, you know, aftermarket, they could jack up the prices. Like, well, with the Wolf Children figure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That one got jacked up aftermarket. These are relatively the same, mm -hmm. which is really good. It's actually really nice because they're really nice quality figures right. and having them about the same price as when they first ran out or with first pr produced, and then that's, that's always nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's like a relief when you can get them for about the same price as when they first ran. Came out, yeah. beside, or even when they like bargained in. Those oh, are yeah. the best. Those are the best when you get like a really good figure that bargain bins and you're just like, yes! Yeah. Get it absolutely. for a good price. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, I have nothing else to say besides that I love these characters. You all mm. should read One Piece and... The, like, the paint quality is fantastic on these. Yeah, um, yeah, they are. The, it, like, Law has a gradient to his jeans. He's got <laughs> washed out jeans. <laughs> yeah. And they made sure to paint it in there. Yeah, it's... And, it gives it a more authentic feel. Yeah, it does. I yeah. really... And like, you know, his face sculpt for his normal face looks great. Of course, I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up the disguise. Yeah, it's just a mustache and some sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the face sculpt for his normal face looks amazing. There's a great... There's... I think it's like we mentioned it with uh, Dio and... Uh, Hana and Ame and Yuki. Right, There's right. There's a sense of emotion that they put into the sculpt. Right. There's a sense of emotion on his face. Definitely. They're, it's not a static face. He, yeah. he always has a scowl anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's cool that they actually they got They that. did. They definitely got that through. It shows. Mm -hmm. And I also really love the, the color choices for these characters. Like, they get their skin tones right. Mm -hmm. Shiro Hoshi is very beautiful, pale mermaid princess and he's a very dark man. <laughs> I mm -hmm. wish he was a little bit darker in all honesty, but you know, they did still give him a good hefty skin tone. Right, so yeah. <clears throat> not displeased whatsoever. I mean, considering they're on the sea so much, it's obvious that he would be tan. That's true. And if she's under the water, she's gonna be a little more light. I love this sword. It's so long. It's yeah. almost as long as his body. I really yeah. just like displaying it like this because then it just adds more height to him. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. Yeah, it's and so sculpted. So well sculpted. Oh yeah, 
because it's like just even the one that's hold, he's holding right here. It was sheath, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oof. It's the, you know, the hilt is well sculpted, the handle is well sculpted. You actually mm -hmm. get that wrapping mm -hmm. that you would traditionally see on, on a, a katana. That's it's, true. It, mm -hmm. The attention to detail is great in these, in both of them. Um, yes. Yes. To everything. Mm -hmm. They're really good figures. Like, yeah. I have nothing bad. Well, this base. The base, yeah. It's not it's the best. It's kind of plain. It's plain. But, you know, they gave it some color, some shimmer. Yeah. They, 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 they tried. Yeah. I will say they tried with Law's base, but they did really well with Shirahoshi. Yeah. A for effort on his base. <laughs> <laughs> but with hers, it's like top notch. Oh, it's... yes. Everything about Shirahoshi is perfect. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10 for this one. Mm -hmm. I will not give her any less. I'll give him a 9 out of 10 just because of that stupid base, but... Yeah. I mean, there's like a little bit of a like, paint issue right here. It's like a little bit of texture. Right, right. But that's where his that's, hood comes off, yeah. so... There's a little bit of that. That's forgivable. But yeah, base, eh, it's weak. But still good figure. Both still great figures, honestly. They are. But yeah, I would They're agree. Lovely. Definitely 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Wonderful figures. Um... These would probably be like more, I don't want to say like advanced collecting, but definitely you're putting in a little bit more of a chunk of money. Yeah, to... yeah, you know, $100 is not a small amount of money, <laughs> especially for a figure. Yeah. Um, but very well worth it, mm -hmm. especially for this kind of quality. Yeah, you probably want to pick these up after you've kind of gathered up, you know, a good, you know, two, three to five other figures or so that you can Yeah, uh, if you if you want to, you know, just drop that kind of money. Mm -hmm. You know, I paid I paid eighty dollars for Shiro Hoshi actually mm -hmm. when she first came out. So I got her on a, a good sale for her second run. Um I mean her third run. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh so I got her for a bargain. You know honestly. She's going for about a hundred to hundred and twenty dollars. You know, some some people can sell her for like mm -hmm. ninety bucks. Depends on the seller, yeah. Because it is just you know people like me, right? Just selling their figures. So, good luck. <laughs> uh, I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want that Shirahoshi figure that I just bought to come in right like now, now. Yeah. <laughs> so I can see her, and then I will definitely review it for you guys. Yeah, I cannot wait. All right, so that's been this episode of Collector's Edition. Thanks for stopping by. And um, I've been Jonathan. I'm Jocelyn. All right, so make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. That'll help us out quite a bit on our channel. And uh, we'll see you nerds later. See ya. Bye.